The last batch of Mudita products came out a while ago. This is the latest line from the company. If you don't know Mudita, please check the video card up above and you'll see all about them. They are a company in Europe that makes very peaceful, nice, kind of serene products. Vegan watches, e-paper clocks. This one is the Mudita Bell. It is a classic alarm clock and is not running e-paper. There's a little security strip right here, so we have to open that up. I do like how they're using as little plastic as possible. That's very nice. It is a corrugated cardboard box, which is, means it is cardboard, essentially. It's not just card stock. So put that off to the side. Here is the Mudita internal. So we open it up like that. Hey, it's black! Or maybe gunmetal gray. We'll have to see in the end. That's really cool. The first gen products, the entire line, was this kind of off-white cream eggshell kind of thing. So it says right here, thank you for recognizing the importance of intentionally unplugging etc etc so that's really nice they they have this approach that everything is very soft and kind of connected to nature in such a way as as much as you can be with consumer electronics i mean there's only so much you can do so in the box you have a couple different languages looks like five different languages deutsch francais espanol and polish polanski so that's that one and we have a USB-C charging cable because this utilizes a battery on board so this is the clock itself this one is not running e-paper this is the classic alarm clock you can check out the main channel to see the Mudita Harmony the one that is actually running e-paper you have some things you can do here you can press the button to turn the glow light off and on and you can press this to trigger the timers and the audio and this does have some settings where what we have to do first is turn it on so on the back of the unit you have two dials you have this one that does the second hands and then you have the smaller one that does the hour and minute hands they also recommend you only turn it the way that they have written on the actual backing to avoid damaging the mechanism if you have to do a little bit of overcorrection and go the opposite way you can but they say try not to go against the grain all that much now you do have a couple things you can do here you can press the button to turn on the glow light which is quite nice it is just a regular warm light it's kind of a blend it's not quite orange not quite blue so it's almost like they're using a comfort light warm light system and they've already preset the blend you don't have any options to change that if you press down the button fully it will activate and deactivate the alarm respectively for example if I press it down like that it'll activate it or deactivate it you can also do soft touches to do various things and turn this and you'll feel it is geared a little bit so you have these in individual little sections you can feel and they do all this because obviously there's no UI elements on the bell all of that is for the harmony and because you have this there's no frame of reference for anything. For example, if you are trying to do a timer, how are you supposed to know? Well, if you tap it once, the guy will start talking to you. Timer for 15 minutes. It'll say time. Now. Sorry, I interrupted him. It says starts now. And you can tap it each time and it'll add a certain amount of minutes, which will be 15 at a time. So you went 15, 30, 45. Pressing it again will cancel it out. It is a little bit of a learning curve because this thing is not very intuitive. It's great, but what we mean by not being intuitive is that as you're doing things, you don't really know that you're doing it. For example, watch. I press this twice. Timer for 30 minutes starts now. Nothing really happens for about three to four seconds depending on what you're trying to do. So it is a little bit difficult to get a grasp of, but it has few commands. There's two dials, a couple buttons, and a spinner for volume. That's really it. So once you get the hang of it, once you get the grasp of it, it, it comes a little bit naturally. Also, if you long press on this, you get a little bit of music you can play. I must say, despite this being a device that doesn't even technically have a screen, because it doesn't, this is just a back 
drop of a watch face. It's not even e-paper. The music is quite nice. It is very soothing and it's so high quality. That filled this room with a level of depth you just don't hear on e-readers and tablets. That's that was crazy, but it's a single use case scenario. It's a one trick pony. This is a clock with a built in speaker pack jumbled in with a couple dials. That's really it. It has no function outside of that because it is a clock. It just seems like coming from a company that makes e paper devices, even phones, one of the few manufacturers in the e ink game to make e paper phones, and they have a USB C charging port. It just feels a little bit mixed in terms of thematics. For example, it's not even paper but it's got all these ports and speakers on the back so you get this idea that it should be doing more than it is but it can't and that's what the mudita harmony is for so check out the end roll you can see the harmony in its full action for now thank you guys so much for watching this is everything you need to know about the mudita bell second gen for goody reader tech thanks for watching